brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. It was a scare for the island, but no one panicked more than this man's family. My mom's calling me from the state. She's crying because she's worried about me. Then I have my brother is calling me, my sister is calling me, my whole family, my wife is. She came to my job site to make sure I'm okay. And I greatly I appreciate that. John Paul Cruz Salas assures residents he is okay. More importantly, he says he's not. The caller who phoned a shooting threat to 911 earlier today. Salas's photo had gone viral shortly after residents were alerted of the threat. This photo depicting him holding a gun, he says, was taken last month. I just wanted to clear my name. So my friend was actually like, hey man, let's make a video of you. I was sent to Facebook and it's going to go everywhere. This is the video that followed. Saul is hoping it will go as viral as quickly as the first. When is it off a day? Well, see John Bodoki, Solace. Um, the photo that's going around, that is me. But uh, I have no intentions of doing anything to hurt anybody. Um, it ain't me. There's nothing else I can say, but it's going around saying that I'm the shooter. His follow-up video clearly showed him at his job site. That's how investigators found him this afternoon. I already spoke to the detectives. I cleared my name with them. Solace, meanwhile, has learned a valuable lesson from this experience. He tells KUAM he had sent that photo to a group chat weeks ago, but deleted it immediately after. By then, someone else had saved and sent it. Because I don't need people being afraid of me. I really ain't that hard to get along with. It is my fault as well. I can't say I'm innocent here, but it is my fault for posting it on a group chat that has 173 people on it, and I don't know the majority of them, you know? So that's my fault. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.